Morning everybody, Andy from Snow Camps Europe on the dog walk here in Caprun. Just a little bit of an update for you. Hopefully up there that cloud is producing some snow which we reported about yesterday on the snow report. Should be about 12 to 15 centimetres hopefully today, much needed up on the glacier. It is supposed to be raining down here. It's rained a little bit over towards Zell. You may be able to see up here. It's very grey and there was a rainbow, which makes me think it has been raining. <coughs> Morning from Dorset. Steve? Steve Verum. <coughs> Morning. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the cake connection. Because since Covid... A lot of employees left the country and all of the hotels are full of new staff. And a lot of those staff don't actually know a great deal about Caprum because um, they've not been here very long. So what seems to be happening is when holiday makers are asking, how do we get to the glacier? Because the glacier at the moment is the best place to ski. They're being told, go to the Maiskogel and get on the cake connection. Now this is causing massive queues from around about 9 o'clock until 10, 10.30 with literally everybody accessing the Kitchen Horn via the K-Connection. Now the K-Connection is one of two ways to get there. And what's very evident is as I drive through the village in the morning in the direction of the glacier, all of the bus stops on one side of the street are totally empty while the other bus stops are totally packed because everybody is being directed to the K-Connection. So... If I was you, if you're getting here Saturday, on Sunday morning, don't go via the K-Connection. Get on the bus in the opposite direction. Go to Gletscher Jet 1. Now, the other side of this is, the Kitchstein Horn Company want you on that connection because it's a new, big, fancy lift that costs them millions of euros. And if you come back on that connection, you ski down the Maiskogel, which makes Caprona Ski In, Ski Out Resort, which is fantastic, and I agree with. But... The snow under my skogel isn't great, and the reason they want you to come back that way is because it leads you into the village where you can spend some money. Also great, spend a bit of money on Apre Ski. Whereas if you come back on the bus, then you're going to get off at your accommodation and possibly not go into the village. So they're not actually marketing the older glacier lifts as much as the connection. But for your ease and for your peace of mind and sanity, and not having to stand in a queue for the best part of half an hour to then take all of that time to get to the glacier. If you see that the bus stop on the other side of the road is empty and your side of the road is packed and you're going to the glacier, then get on the bus in the opposite direction and go to the kitchen horn and go up Gletscher Jet 1 and Gletscher Jet 2 rather than go and stand in the queue at the connection. By all means, come back over the connection and ski down to Myskogel and uh, do a little bit of apre on the way down, but on the way in the morning, alleviate some of that pressure off the mice Google and go on the bus. That is the message for today. Other than that, as you can see, broken cloud, partially blue skies. It's about five or six degrees um, down here, pretty warm, but supposedly snow on the glacier. What's the dog doing? Snow on the glacier. And a little bit more to come, hopefully, after the weekend. We will keep you fully informed, as we always do. But for now, from myself and Neo, say goodbye, Neo. Goodbye. Yeah, Andy for Snowcamp Europe, saying bye for now. Don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends. And we will keep you posted on everything Capron. And when it snows, we'll show you the snow. Bye for now.